Uh, my name is Nick Quintong. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Pago Energy. And the idea and concept for Pago really came from our experience in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, we actually watched people queue up in long lines to purchase uh, dirty disease-causing fuels like charcoal and kerosene every day. And we look at the unit cost of these fuels, the amount they're spending daily, it actually costs more than the cleanest burning fuel available today, which is gas. The same fuel that we use here in the United States and over in Europe. From a customer perspective, if, you, if you're living on less than $5 a day, less than $2 a day, and you have a limited energy spend, you can purchase 50 cents for the charcoal. You can purchase 30 cents worth of kerosene. You can't purchase 30 cents worth of gas. So you can't, it doesn't fit into your daily budget. It's basically a product market fit problem. 2.8 billion people are cooking with dirty fuels every day. It's 4.3 million people that are dying every year due to household air pollution. It's more than tuberculosis, HIV, um, and malaria combined. The World LPG Alliance had already done a huge study in Kenya and identified six million people that could afford gas, but for reasons of packaging and, and everything else, they're just not doing it today. The idea was, can we just do pay as you go solar for gas? Like, I mean, it's, it's a gas cylinder, but you could get a valve to quickly shut it on and off. We believe that the best country to start in is, is Kenya because pay as you go has been proven there, it started there, and the mobile money um, platform for low-income households in PESA really came out of Kenya, which is a great place for us to start. So that first pilot was really trying to figure out how to recreate a pay as you go service without any technology. To put any technology in the field, we'd have to go through a regulatory procedure, we'd have to certify gas components, and that would just take too long and cost too much money. We ended up uh, putting gas in the form of a, a cylinder, a stove, and no technology, but coming every day and weighing the, uh, the weight of the cylinder and charging people based on their consumption. In a hardware startup, Having something that you can show other people to really quickly get the point across of what you're trying to achieve, just something to put out there and show people what you're trying to do. Is, so that's sort of the reason, the logic behind the prototype you saw. It's definitely a moment of excitement of, look, it, there's a flame and it's burning. And then, oh, the credit ran out and the flame stopped. Pigo Energy, we developed a smart meter technology that couples to any uh, gas cylinder, or in Kenya we call it an LPG cylinder. And it turns that cylinder into a pay-as-you-go device. For the first time, you can purchase just the fuel you need for that day to cook. I, I know about about an inch deep uh, with fundraising, I need a lot of help. And so I'm getting that here at, at iShow as well to make sure that we're smart about the, the capital that we raise uh, and what we eventually do with it. Longer term, tactical, I think we got some good advice on making sure that we're smart about why we're iterating and why we're releasing a certain number of units and making sure that the metrics are right before scaling too much. We plan to run 100 households uh, pilot by the end of the year, so that's fairly significant, uh, both from a hardware perspective, also from operations and distribution, and then also for us to raise the capital for that. And then scale up pilot operations to about 2,000 households next year. And the plan is to really refine both our product and our sales and distribution strategy so we can commercially launch at the end of 2017.